a, uh, a job in a meat market. And so I started and did the cleanup work and grinding hamburger and all those kind of things that you do in a meat market. Well, I worked uh, all through uh, school. Uh, actually, I worked 40 hours while I was going to high school and two years of college. Uh, so I went to school in the morning and worked in the afternoon and evening. So by the time I left school, I was a journeyman meat cutter and uh, prepared to actually manage a meat market. Byron Allenbaugh learned his sense of values in a warm, loving family where neither of his parents ever shied from an honest day's work. During World War II, they moved their family to the Pacific Northwest to take advantage of jobs in the defense industry. His father, a baker by trade, worked as a welder, his mother as a riveter. My mother was also a very strong influence because uh, she developed uh, the sensitivity uh, for people also in me. My mother was from the South. She was from a very poor family. Uh, she grew up working uh, in, the, in the fields. She chopped cotton as a, as a little girl, and uh, she understood what poor was all about. Wanting to make his own way and big for his age, Alan Baugh took a job as an apprentice butcher when he was only 12. He worked his way up to meat cutter, putting in a full work week while still attending high school. It was interesting. I was learning how to use my hands. Uh, I was learning a trade. Uh, it was something that I knew uh, would work for me later on in life if I needed a, a trade uh, to carry on. And so therefore, I was very interested in it, and I didn't mind going to work. From meat manager to chairman of a supermarket chain, Alan Baugh is a devoted family man who has always tried to set an example by being fair and honest, and by being there for his neighbors in good times and in bad. I remember after the Northridge earthquake, Ralph was the first company out there bringing food to hungry people in the valley. The name Byron Allenbaugh is synonymous with giving. Giving of his time, giving of resources. Uh, I've taught my, uh, my family and uh, tried to uh, expound this in our company that uh, we not only uh, take from the company but uh, we also give back to society and uh, encourage our people to uh, work in uh, charitable and civic uh, organizations because uh, uh, it is important to give back.